Keegan, people living in areas of the South Delta, which are flooded, say they wanted to use this year's wildlife extravaganza as a way to describe how devastating their situation's been. But it's left some groups at odds. The group finished the pumps, says they were initially denied a spot at the event because there was a wait list and no merchandise was being sold. Vendors showed us the amount of empty booths here, something they say is unprecedented for the extravaganza. They say several big companies pulled out in support of the pumps. Out of state vendors tell us it's a double edged sword, which affected the turnout and caused them to only collect $15. We've gotten 15 pages of signatures for the petition, and it's, it's just been really good. I understand they wanted to get the word out about the pumps, and we learned about this only last week, and we're from Illinois, and we understand that, but using this platform affected all of the vendors. It calls deer grunts, turkey calls, shirts, hats, the whole entire shebang, and we've sold one deer grunt all day long. Because, I mean, it's just people, like I was talking to somebody else, and they were like, people just think that it's just close. Plus, some vendor proceeds will go towards aiding flood relief. Find out if some victims feel like those proceeds will be enough to alleviate the damage flooding has caused in the South Delta based on this turnout. Coming up at 10, Lyman Jackson, Jennifer Lott, 16 WAPT News.